Welcome! The following video will show you how to use your Elan Touch Panel, or the Elanate app, to control door locks. We'll also show you how to create a new code to give a new user the ability to unlock one of your doors. Note, if you're using the Elanate app and your mobile device is in portrait orientation, your menu format and button locations may be slightly different from what you see in this video. Simply rotate your device to a landscape orientation to resemble the format shown in this video. Begin by opening the main menu and tapping the Security tab. The Security menu will open and you'll be able to view any locks controlled by your Elan system. In this example, we have a few controlled door locks and the highlighted lock buttons indicate the doors are currently locked. If we want to unlock a door, we can do it directly from this screen by tapping the Unlock button and then entering our access code. You'll also notice that if you tap the right arrow button next to the door's Lock and Unlock buttons, an event log will open. This event log will show you every time the selected door was locked and unlocked and by whom. You can use the event log page to also check your lock's battery life. You can tap the arrow buttons located at the top of the screen to open the menus for any additional locks controlled by your Elan system. To give a new user access to one of your door locks, first return to the main menu screen. In this example, I'm going to return to the main menu by tapping the hamburger looking icon and then tapping the security tab. Tap the gear icon and enter your admin user code to access the settings page. Note, to access the add, edit, and delete user menu, you'll need the admin user code. Once you're in the settings page, tap manage users, and then tap the add button located at the bottom of the screen. You can then type the new user's name. Your new user has now been added to your lawn system and you'll see his or her name on screen. To give this user the ability to unlock one of your door locks, select the user from the on-screen list and then tap the settings icon located at the bottom of the screen. Next, locate the local access passcode section and tap set. Use the on-screen keypad to enter the user's new four-digit passcode and then tap the check mark button. You'll now see the new user's passcode on screen. Now that you've created this new user's profile and given him or her a code, you'll need to tell your Elan system which doors this user can unlock with his or her code. Tap the back arrow button twice to return to the settings page, and then tap Door Lock Settings. Tap User Assignments. Find an empty slot number and then tap the down arrow button next to None. Select your new user from the drop down list and then tap the Assign button located to the right of the new user's name. You'll see a list of all your door locks on screen. In this example, we have two door locks. Once you locate the door or doors you want this user to be able to unlock, tap the Disabled button. Select Enabled from the drop-down menu. Tap the back button twice, and then select the door lock from the on-screen list, and tap For Sync. Complete another For Sync for any other doors this user will access. Note, the new user code will not work until you complete a For Sync. Also note, the force sync process may take up to five minutes. You can return to the main menu by tapping the Elan icon located in the top left corner. Congratulations! You've added your new user code and he or she will now be able to unlock all doors he or she was given access to.